Good morning, good afternoon everyone. Philip from Blackpool Markets here. Hope you're all doing well. Just a quick uh, FAQ video. We have had a couple of questions, people asking us how does the, um, how does the spread affect your trading, uh, how to view the spread. So we decided just to make a quick video um, just to show everyone how it actually works and how it can affect your trading. So we'll start off by uh, showing you how to show your ask line, which is the difference from the buy and sell price. Um, which is, uh, you'll, you'll get two lines here. So we call that the spread. So the difference between those two lines is the spread. Um, so we'll quickly show you. So to show it, go on properties, or you can press F8 on your keyboard. Um, you can then go to show ask line, press OK, and you should see it pop up. If it hasn't popped up yet, just make sure it's the similar colors. Again, go to properties, go to colors this time, make sure it's a different color for your background. So for example, if it is black, like my background, um, you can see even if though it's shown, you can't see the ask line. So we'll go back to properties and just change it to a different color um, right there. So now how this works is if I enter a buy order, I will get entered at the ask line. So I'll show, for example, here, just place a buy position. You can see there I got entered. That moved quite quickly. So let's let's just redo that um, so I'll show you. So you can see bought. I got entered at that ask line. Um, now how this affects your trading if I place a take profit up here, you can see that these two lines have to cross, uh, both of these lines have to cross your, your entry order before you start going to a profit. So for example, if I uh, open my terminal, so you can see this is a, just a test demo account that we use. So you can see I am in negative because I need both of these lines to cross. Um, that yellow or my entry price before I start going to profit and not just once. So just be aware of that. Um, now when you place this trade um, and you have a stop loss at the bottom, you will get entered out at actual market price and it's a similar if you get, um, say for your take profit, you'll get exited at your actual market price and not that order, uh, so not the ask line. So we'll close this trade and show you how it works on a selling um, position so it's pretty much the exact same but the, um, the exact opposite actually so we'll place a sell order and you can see right here we've got to enter at the actual price of the market now be careful with this because this can actually affect your trading um, so just keep this in mind so usually during high volume volatile highly volatile or low volume times in the market and um, the spread does tend to widen quite a bit um, so if you place your stop loss above here and the spread widens before you in profit so this red line goes up because it is a floating spread um, as we are an ECN broker uh, the spread can widen and hit your take your stop loss and actually take you out negative uh, so just be aware that when you are placing sell orders that that can happen now when you take place a take profit as well uh, you would have to wait for the both these lines so you have to wait for that ask line to cross your take profit before you uh, actually get taken out so just to show you I can actually put this inside of the spread if it just comes down a bit I uh, you'll see that I will get taken out at just wait for it to come down okay this is the so let's take this time okay we'll see if this this market comes down so you guys can see there example I'll put it on on this line you can see it hasn't actually taken me out um, can't yeah so I mean as you can see <laughs> it's not really coming down at the moment but so when that there we go so you can see I'm still in the trade even though my take profit has been crossed by the actual market price um, so I have to wait for this ask line to cross my take profit before I'm a target so in pro, uh, before my trades is closed so this can also affect your trading so if again during low volume ties of the market that like I said the spread can widen um, this spread can stay up in here for example and this actual price can come down all the way past this while your spread is still up here which will mean you're still uh, in a losing position um, if it is above here but if it's down here then it's fine but like I said so if it, you have to wait for both these lines to cross your your top your take profit before you will get exited out of the trade so i hope that does make sense if it's still a bit unclear feel free to let us know uh, our contact details will be provided down below in the description of the video uh, if you want you can just contact us via live chat just go to our website blackballmarkets.com click on the little green button that says live chat and our support team will be more than happy to help you 
If you want to contact us via email, please do so. You can email us at support at blackbullmarkers.com and we will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, everyone. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Do give us a thumbs up if you did like it. And let us know below in the comments what you think of the video. Um, and from everyone here at Blackburn Markets, safe trading.